We developed a brain-spinal interface to reestablish the communication between the motor cortex and lumbar spinal circuits in order to restore walking after spinal cord injury in non-human primates. For this, we reconstructed the anatomical location of motor neurons innervating the extensor, flexor, and biarticular muscles of the leg. We then used wireless technologies to record the activity of these leg muscles in conjunction with leg kinematics, which allowed us to reconstruct the spatiotemporal map of motor neuron activation during locomotion. We reconstructed the dorsal roots in 3D and used this information to tailor spinal epidural implants that targeted the dorsal roots projecting to the extensor and flexor hotspots. This spinal implant was connected to an implantable pulse generator with wireless triggering capabilities. The monkeys also received a microelectrode implant into the leg area of the motor cortex. Wireless modules allowed us to record the spiking activity from the motor cortex in real time without constraining tethered connections. We interfaced real-time decoding of extension and flexion motor states to electrical spinal cord stimulation protocols promoting these movements. We validated the brain-spinal interface in intact monkeys walking freely on a treadmill. The decoder accurately predicted foot strike and foot off motor states during continuous locomotion. These predictions directly triggered stimulation protocols that augmented the extension and flexion movements of the leg without disrupting the natural locomotion of the monkeys. No motor states were detected during rest. The decoder anticipated the first step of the monkey prior to the occurrence of any leg movement and instantly resumed the modulation of leg movements. The adjustment of the stimulation frequency led to a graded modulation of the step height during continuous locomotion on a treadmill. The decoder accurately triggered the stimulation protocols without disrupting locomotor movements since the stimulation targeted the proprioceptive feedback circuits that naturally contribute to activating leg muscles during locomotion. Monkeys received a spinal cord injury interrupting the cortical spinal tract at the thoracic level. This lesion led to a paralysis of the leg ipsilateral to the injury. The brain spinal interface instantly restored coordinated weight-bearing locomotion of the paralyzed leg as early as six days post-injury. In contrast, continuous stimulation blocked the leg in flexion. The same functional improvements were observed when the monkeys progressed freely over ground. The brain spinal interface mediated similar improvements in the second monkey, which was tested two weeks after the injury. Turning off the brain spinal interface instantly abolished locomotor movements of the injured leg.